For practice it, self-check 2.30 nested loops. We are asked what output is produced by the following program. And we're given this code right here. And we need to find the output for it. So we can look and we see that first we have a for loop right here. And then inside of that for loop right here and right here, we have two for loops that are nested. So every time we run through this outside for loop, we are going to run through these. And whenever we um, escape these for loops, so we're going to go into this one first. When this one's done, we're going to go into this one. And after this one's done, we're going to go back into our outside for loop and then run through the entire thing all over again. First, we need to look at what we have. So we have the first for loop, which is for int i is equal to 1. i has to be less than or equal to 10. And then i++. plus plus. So this loop is going to run about 10 times. So that means this for loop right here and this for loop right here are both going to get executed about 10 times each. So we can start out first where our i is equal to 1. And our inner for loop, our, our first nested for loop, which is going to be right here, is that j is equal to 1. j has to be less than or equal to 10 minus i and then j++. Plus plus. And then all we're going to do is print out a space. So, and this is just a print, so we're printing it on the same line. We can look at this, j is equal to 1 j has to be less than or equal to 10. So that means i, or this part right here, is going to be 9. So j has to be less than or equal to 9, because we're taking 10 minus i. So we have a space when j is equal to 1, a space when j is equal to 2, space when j is equal to 3, space when j is equal to 4, space when j is equal to 5, space when j is equal to 6, 7, and then 8, and then a space finally when j is equal to 9. So that is all of the spaces that are going to be from our first nested for loop. can make this smaller because we're still going to have more on this very line. Next, we have a for loop after this right here. And for int, j is equal to 1 here j has to be less than or equal to 2 times i minus 1. And then we have j++. Plus plus. Well, here, if we have 2 times i, this is going to be 1. Or this is going to be 2. And then if we do 2 minus 1, we are just going to get 1. So this loop right here is just going to run once in this first iteration. So we are just going to print out a star right here. So we have about, I think, nine spaces and then a star on our first line. And then we have this print line right here. So we're going to go to the next line and then we are going back out to our outside for loop here. Now we are going to have that i is equal to two. So we can just do a comma, and now we're on i is equal to 2. Now we have a our first for loop, and we have these spaces here. And we're going to print out 8 spaces. j is equal to 1, j is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like this. And then we go into our next for loop, and we have a star. So we have 4 right here minus 1, so that means that this has to be 3, and j has to be less than or equal to 3. I mean, this loop is going to run three times, so we have 1 star, 2 star, and then a third star. Next, we have uh, i is equal to 3. 
And so we have our first for loop. And we're, this is going to run seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we are going to be in our next for loop, where we have two times three, which is six, minus one, which is five. So this is going to run five times. That means that we're going to print out five stars. One, two, three, four, five, like this. Next, we have our i is going to be equal to four. So we have our first for loop. It's going to execute six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And since this is four, we have two times four right here, which is eight, minus one, which is seven. So this second for loop is going to run the seven times. So if we actually um, notice a pattern here, we've gone from one to three to five, and now we are at seven stars. Same thing with these um, spaces, right here, right here, right here, and right here. We've gone from nine to seven to five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so we go from nine to eight to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've gone from nine to eight to seven to six. And on the stars, we've gone from one to three to five to seven. Keep doing this. We can notice a pattern and instead of going through this loop every single time, just go off that pattern. But for argument's sake, for example's sake, actually, we'll just keep going through this loop. Now our i is equal to 5, and our j is going to print 5 times. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, 1 less than what we had previously. And our stars is going to be 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 1, which is 9. So now our stars are going to print 9 times. So I'm going to copy all this, which was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll paste it right here. And then just draw two more to be 9, like this. Now we have i is equal to 6. So we're printing this out four times. One, two, three, four. And then for our stars, we have 6 times 12, which is going to be, or 6 times 2, which is 12, minus 1. And that's going to be 11. So we take what we had here, which was 9. And then we add two more stars, just as we've done previously. And this, we're just going to keep doing this. So now we have seven. And really, we can just do this loop um, and see that we just keep getting lower and lower spaces every single time. Each, each time we go through this loop, we are losing a space. Every time we go through this loop, we are gaining a star. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep doing it though. So we have one, two, three, like this. Seven minus 10 is three. And then for our stars, we are going to have seven times two, which is 14 minus one, which is 13. So we'll take all of these stars right here. Which is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. And then we're going to add two more to make it 13. And next, we have that our i is equal to 8. And so that means when we are in our first loop, we have two spaces. 
And then when our i is equal to 9, we'll have one space. And then when our i is equal to 10, we will have zero spaces. So we can keep drawing stars, though. So when i is equal to um, 7, we'll copy this. Or when um, i is equal to 8, we have 8 times 2, which is 16, minus 1, which is 15. So we'll have all of these stars. And then we will have two new ones, which draw an x to represent the stars. And then lastly, we have um, when i is equal to 9. When i is equal to 9, we're going to have one space, because it's just going to run one time. And print out like this, because 10 minus i being 9 is 1. So we have one space, and then 9 times 2, which is for here, for the stars, minus 1 is 17. So we're going to have all of these stars, which is 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We are going to have two more like this. So that is our final output. Kind of looks like a triangle if, for the stars, it kind of looks like a triangle if this was brought more over this side like that. So the output should kind of look like this. So in practice, it we're in 2.30. We have a space of 9 here, then a star. Then we have a space of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we have 1, 2, 3 stars. And then we are going to have a space of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 5 stars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then space of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we are just keep we're, we're just gonna keep going until um, we finish this pyramid. So now we can submit it. And we have passed the test. Finally passed the test. Um, one thing I didn't mention is when we had i is equal to 10. So we have i is equal to 9 here. And that gives us this line right here. But when i is equal to 10, so we have i is equal to 10 like this, we don't get anything in our first for loop right here. Because right here, if we have 10 minus 10, it's 0, and 1 is greater than 0. And 1 is where j starts at. But we do have output for this for loop. So here, we're just going to not be left with any space right here. And when we look at this for loop, we have 2 times i, which is 10, minus 1. So we're going to get 19. So basically, we are going to have 19 stars right here in this bottom row to complete our triangle. And this is really how you can use nested for loops. Here we created a shape, but it's pretty powerful if we want to put data into something or we want to go through data that we're given.